The semi driver claimed he was on his phone and failed to notice the semi in front of him slowing down. That distraction caused him to total his vehicle. One thing's for sure, that pedestrian cheated death. Had that van driver not been there, this would have ended much worse. The sedan driver was at fault for blowing past the stop sign. Oh! You don't have incognito? No! Oh, really? You can look at what I look at. I don't know if I it want to. It you out more than anything else. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> see why she's feeling a little weird about that. The camera was at fault for this crash due to him following closely to the Honda driver. Granted, the Honda driver shouldn't have been brake checking, but the camera did ask for it. And trying to take a picture of me, but she's sitting up here taking up the time and wasting all this Oh my god! Oh my god! You made me hit your car! The camera was upset at the person in front of him for going over the 20 mile per hour school zone limit and crashed into the driver in the end, being at fault. Remember, two hands on the wheel at all times. The sedan driver failed to notice the stalled car on the highway and crashed right into it being at fault. The driver blamed not seeing the car on the sun glare on his windshield. Thankfully, because the camera was driving slowly and safely in the parking lot, he stopped in time preventing a crash. Always expect the unexpected and keep your eyes peeled at all times. The sedan driver was speeding and then panic jerked his car, losing control and slamming into the barrier. Thankfully, no one else was hit. According to the camera, this liability was split 50-50 because the truck driver had a yield and the hatchback driver crossed over the line while it was still yellow. Was this a fair ruling? semi-truck driver was at fault due to him cutting across oncoming traffic. Thankfully, the camera was okay, but his truck was totaled.
It turns out that the Benz driver was drunk, which led him to rear-end the car in front of him. The officers arrived at the scene and cited and arrested the Benz driver. There's no excuse for drunk driving. The Nissan driver tried to say it was the van driver's fault, saying he was the one who veered over. The camera provided his dash cam footage to the officers that arrived, and the officers cited the Nissan driver only. Blue Honda driver panic jerked his car, causing a chain reaction of accidents. The worst part was, the Honda driver didn't even have insurance or a driver's license. Look at his car. The Honda driver tried to merge lanes but did so very closely, sideswiping the camera and being at fault. The truck driver tried to cut lanes, but no one was letting him in. He gets upset no one lets him cheat traffic and gets vocal about it. In the end, he still doesn't get his way and looks like a complete fool in the process. The riser driver decided to floor it on the highway, but lost control, causing him to T-bone the other car, totaling his and the other vehicle. Despite the cars being lost, at least the drivers and passengers were okay.